So what exactly is kundalini activation? How does it work and what are the benefits? So hi everyone, my name is Jolene Aaron. I'm a psychic medium, energy healer, and teacher. And I assist you to release the energetic blockages from the trauma, from your experiences, so that way you can step into your power, purpose, and potential. And one of the things that I offer, one of the services that I offer is kundalini activation from a trauma-informed space. So trauma-informed means that you have choice in your healing and you also have resources before your ac activation ceremonies during it and after to continue your spiritual and kundalini awakening process. So we've all been in a kundalini awakening process since birth. It's been happening for each and every one of us. A lot of us have gone through, if you're a spiritual seeker, a healer, um, a guide, whatever that means to you, a, a, a conscious person, you know that we have been going through massive changes as a collective, both individually, obviously, and as a whole. And why kundalini activation ceremony are so powerful is that they assist you to remember your truth, your essence, that we are not just this physical body. We are not just this 3D experience. We are the energy. We are, we are the spirit. We are the creator energy that has the power and potential to shift our experience as individuals, but as a collective. So kundalini activation is an energetic transmission that assists to activate the dormant life force energy, the sexual energy, the kundalini energy, the ancient energy, cosmic energy that is within us. And it assists you in doing this in a safe way, specifically with me as a trauma-informed facilitator, to do it in a balanced way where you are reaching your potential um, and releasing whatever doesn't serve. So that can be mindsets, trauma, energetic blockages, um, sexual dysfunctions, health issues, whatever that looks like to you, it can happen in this safe space ceremony. This energetic transmission, so you know what that means, is the facilitator like myself opens up a portal of energy with non-dual energy, which is high frequency energy, where there is no good, there is no bad, there is no right, there is no wrong. It just is pure acceptance, pure awareness, pure unconditional love. And with that, we also are working with Shakti Prana energy, which is the divine feminine, divine mother, creator energy of all things. So you can't have kundalini without Shakti, which is the divine feminine creator birther of all existence. And what happens in our ceremonies online, which you're seeing a picture here or in person is, is an activation of that awareness within you in a balanced space where you are not forcing anything to happen. So kundalini activation Ceremonies do not necessarily mean you will have a kundalini awakening, meaning consciously feeling that. you. We've all been in a kundalini awakening process from birth. Kundalini is life. Kundalini is us. So you know that. It's nothing to be fearful of. But what I do as a facilitator and in a trauma-informed space is I assist your body system, your nervous system to prepare for the awakening process consciously when the time is right for you. Okay, so during a transmission, and again, online or in person, and I'll explain the benefits of both and that they're both as effective because so you know, online, you don't need me to be physically present just like in this picture here, you don't need me to be physically present for you to receive the benefits of an activation. Energy, like most of you know, transcends time and space because in the quantum field, there isn't distance, there isn't space. That is a limitation of the mind. If you understand that or understand that, great. If you don't, then it's just not time for you to receive that message. But energy transcends time and space. I don't have to be physically present because we are sound, frequency, vibration. And with the facilitator, like myself's intention, I can assist in manipulating the energy field within you. If there is a resonance of the energy that I'm holding within the energy that you have or are, we'll say, okay? So when I say manipulating, meaning I can, with my intention, assist you in transforming the energy within yourself as you're open to do that because there is a trust and there is a resonance within the energy that I'm holding and that I'm sharing, if that makes sense to you. So in that, you are doing the work, right? The healer, myself, is holding the space, but you have choice and free will to, to accept that frequency. And when you accept that frequency, which I hold this um, high dimensional frequency, that's when the healing happens, right?
it's trust and it's surrender. So it can be online, which most of my clients are online. I do in person as well. And they've had both a lot of clients and they can tell the benefit of receiving this. So when you receive this transmission, you will release um, energy that's stuck in your chakras, in your energy centers that is ready to release. And in that, you you are able to move out of living in fight or flight mode in your, in your first dimensional energy, which is the root, right? You release um, yourself from living in that fight or flight because that's what we've been programmed to live in, survive, pay bills, die, right? So we move out of that space, we heal it, and we move out of that space and, and, and start to elevate, ascend your energy into your heart chakra, which our heart chakra is where we can create and where we manifest okay also in our solar plexus but that's another video so so just know that it helps to elevate your energy raise your frequency and in this transmission as you raise your frequency your awareness heightens your consciousness expands you can manifest high, at a higher rate because there's love there you're not living in your fear state your fight or flight state so in these transmissions these energetic transmissions the you you are entering an awake dream state. So as you can see, everyone's laying down in the transmissions, right? You lay down to receive. You lay down, why? To get your parasympathetic nervous system online, all right? Your parasympathetic nervous system is your rest and digest space. And you lay down, eyes closed, because your body's like, yes, I'm in a relaxed state. I can receive. I can heal right now. So that's why we start the transmissions laying down with eyes closed, but I always say this, as a trauma-informed facilitator, you can move however you want to, freely. If you need to sit up during it, great. If you need to stand up and dance like you see my friend here doing, do that. Release. Movement um, it is releasing. Breath is releasing. So there's free range in these sessions. There's no judgment. So while you're doing this, you're assisting your own energy flow with whatever feels natural and right to you. So these are very empowering experiences, which for me and all of my clients have assisted them in coming back into their body, especially as trauma survivors. A lot of trauma, uh, I work with a lot of trauma, people that have been um, through trauma. So this modality, specifically being trauma-informed, assist them to come back home into themselves and to feel freedom in being who they are sexually, physically, mentally, creatively, right? And that's where the real change happens because you are seen in this modality you are you are held in this modality so if i didn't say this before trauma informed means resources before your journey and after so when you receive a kundalini activation with me you are well resourced for the journey that's ahead and that means breath work that means um uh information on shadow work which i'm really big on shadow work and helping people through their parts that they have that they've repressed because that's how we shift and transform so kundalini activation, um, long story short, the benefits, if I haven't said this already, are an, an increased awareness, increased consciousness or expanded consciousness, abilities to um, make the changes in your life that you are ready to make. Leave that relationship, leave that job, um, do that uh, project. It, it just clicks something in you because what happens is it turns on a switch of ancient wisdom within you in this high frequency energy. It's what you truly are. So the frequency that we're working with is what you truly are, right? The God within, the source within you. And as you accept this and as you work with this modality more and more, you are able to understand the potential and the power that you have to co-create. So that's the benefit. But the trauma-informed means that you have resources um, during the session, like movement, chanting, sound, anything, physical movement, and after your journey to continue it. And those are resources, again, like breath work and shadow work. So I hope this helped. Um, I do train this modality from a trauma-informed space. I have a training coming up. Um, on the 26th of September, um, we do it all online. Tuition includes ongoing mentorship, um, ongoing support for your Kundalini awakening journey. And I think that's very important with this modality and with where we're going as a collective. So if you want more information on that, go to my website, psychicenergymama.com. If this was helpful to you, um, save, share, and follow for more. And I'll see you in the next video.